Alright, so lead code practice time. So, two goals for today. First, uh, find how to solve this problem for the specific question. And uh, the second one is to see how to solve this problem properly at, in a coding interview. What are the process we are going to follow? So, let's get started. So, trapping rain water. So, given n non negative integers representing an elevation map where the y's of each bar is 1, then we compute how much water it can trap after raining. All right, so let's take a look at the given input. Say the height for each bar is 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, and it can trap 6 uh, water. Okay, so okay, so let's see why trap six water. So in one to, in the third place, it can trap one water because uh, the left bar is one, right bar is two, so on and so forth. So altogether in the graph, we are going to six water. Okay, now I understand uh, the problem. What the problem is asking. So first thing first, it is to clarify the question. If there is any ambiguous parts we need to clarify with the interviewer we don't understand, uh, please bring up the questions. And also the other thing is think about the edge cases. So I would say for this one, uh, one edge case is what if the input uh, array is none, then we definitely need to return zero. And also, if there are less than three bars, like say one or two bars, then definitely we are not we are not going to be able to hold any water. Then we are going to return zero as well for that. So I would say that's pretty much pretty much it for the ash cases. Then let's think about the general solution for this problem. So, um, okay, so we can take a look the water trapped in each position. Let's say in position three, it traps one water here uh, because it is held by the left bar and the right bar. Um, and uh, in this one, two, three, four, five, in the five, fifth place, it holds one water because it is holded by uh, the bar in position four and the bar uh, here. Okay, so I think I I pretty much get uh, the question actually. So think about uh, the water that can be held in a bucket. It is decided by the shortest bar of all the bars that uh, that is around the bucket. So it's similar. Um, I would say this one, it is kind of like several buckets. Let's say, let's consider that the each position, it is a bucket, then it is decided by um, the, let's, let's find the longest bar on the left for it, and uh, let's find the longest bar on the right for it, whichever is the shortest. That is the major thing that decide how much water it can trap. So let's, let me give you an example. Let's say uh, we have um, six and zero and five and zero and four. Then so for position for the first position, we are going to hold zero water, of course. For the second position, um, how much water it can hold. Let's say the longest bar on the left is six, and the longest bar on the right is five. Um, so we can only find five, five water because uh, the shortest bar is five currently for this position. Uh, when we compare the longest bar on the left and the longest bar on the right. So for this position, which is five, longest bar is six on the left and longest bar on the right is four. So we can hold no water for this pos position, unfortunately. 
um, and for this position for the first position um, the longest part on the left is six and the longest part on the right is four so we can only for, uh, hold four water so all together for this one um, the final answer this is going to be five plus four which is nine okay so okay so this is the general solution um what, what will be the runtime for this approach so we need to um do one pass to find the longest bar on the left for each position uh, which is going to be linear and another one pass to find the longest bar on the right for each position as well and a separate pass for the input array to find how much water each position can hold. So three pass on the on the input array. So it is still gonna be linear. Um, regarding the storage, the space complexity is gonna be linear as well. Okay, so let's see. After we agree on the solution, then that's the part we are going to start to do some coding work. So in this part, people care about your code correctness and your code readability. So let's give it a shot and do some code. So first thing is to check the ash cases. Um, so suppose if left, if the height is equal to none or the height and the length is smaller than three then we definitely just return zero for it so title to fix and then we are going to find the highest column for each position on the left so you're going to define an array let's call it left max is equal to uh, new int height dot length. So we are going to do one pass for the input array. But before that, we need to set the left max zero to be the same as height zero. This is for the comparison we are going to do in the for loop. Um, so let's say i is equal to 1, i is smaller than height, the length plus plus i. So left max i should be max dot max, um, left max uh, i minus 1, and uh, height i. All right. So. Let's see, similar thing for the right max. We define the right max as new int height the lens, um, and uh, we are going to set the start position for the right max. And the lens minus one is equal to um, mass. No, uh, we just simply set it as height the last one for height. And then we are going to do one pass for the right max. Let's say int i is equal to height uh, the lens uh, minus two, and the uh, i is larger or equal to zero, and uh, minus 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 i. So right max for the current position is going to be mass dot max uh, right max i plus one. Um, uh, and the height i. Now we find the the longest left column and the longest right column for each position. Now we are going to compute how much water um, we can trap. So let's define water sum. Water sum as equal to zero. So for each position, we compute how much water it can hold. Let's say uh, current hold 
water is equal to um, mass dot min because it is is mainly decided by uh, the smaller thing um, for the highest left car left bar and the highest right bar so it's left max uh, I and the right max I uh, then minus the height of the current bar which is uh, height I okay and then we sum up the water okay and finally just return water sum um, all right so we are pretty much co-complete let's do some testing so first, we will use a simple input example um, to do some sanity check. So let's say for let's just use the second example is four two zero three two five. So for I just copy it here. Um, so now the let's compute the left max. Starting from here, left max is four, and now and for the second place is four as well. And, uh, for the third place is four, then it's four again, four again, and five. And uh, for the right max, it's gonna be so the last one is five, then it's five, then another five. Another five, another five, uh, and uh, another five. So let's say, okay, how much water it can hold? So the minimum between four and five is five. So so now the current water is one. So some more water is one. Then for the second position. Uh, four, which is we can hold four minus two water, which is plus two is three now. And for this one, we can hold four water, which add up together is seven. For this position, one water, which is eight. For this one, two water, which is ten. For this position, zero water. Uh, now we have ten water. How? Uh, let's see why. So four. Four, 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 uh, four. Uh, yes. So why? Maybe I did some miscalculation. For this position, we are going to hold zero water. For this position, we are going to hold two water. For this position, we are going to hold four water, one water, two water, zero water. So all together is nine. Okay, so I think I did some miscalculation somewhere, um, but now it should be look, it should look good for this uh, input. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so it's good. Um, so any other test cases we can think about. Um, so we can definitely think about the input to be none, uh, none pointer, and also uh, the height. Let's say only one bar, only two bar. Uh, other than that, um, I would say a general task is uh, like example one would be good enough. Um, I I would say that's pretty much it for the test coverage. Um, so let's do a submission on it to see okay so it works okay so i think that's it for this coding question i hope you find it this a little bit helpful um and i hope you enjoy it uh if you like this video please give me a thumb up um and uh, i'll see you in the next video